Hello and welcome to the first ever live session. That's right, so uh, I can't go live yet. It's <laughs> like my, my site is just verified, so it's it's so new that I can't even do a live video yet. It takes 24 hours after you verify your site. Um, but anyway, yeah, I figured that I would record this live. So if you hear me, I don't know, stuttering, talking a little slower, not so excited, and, um, not so on point, it's because this is recorded live. In front of the live studio audience! Uh, I am doing this recording because this is this this is a part that's really the law. This is where I'm going to talk about my life, and I like the live format. Uh, I utilize it on my other uh, my other YouTube page on set Facebook. My other YouTube page um, where I do a lot of projects, how tos. Um, but not the kind of how-tos that I do on here, like the computer how-tos that I do. I have a shop downstairs in the basement. Um, show you guys how to do all kinds of recipes. Anyway, um, you guys can check that out in the link in the description. Uh, we, that channel is called I Can Do That. So, and uh, yeah, so I really like the live format. Pretty, pretty used to it. Really don't mind having more of a, a chill kind of conversation, if you will, with the with you guys <laughs> um so yeah uh what is going on in my life let's let's start this vlog it's not super exciting right now um we got this computer up and running Ooh, cleaned up this room just like i said i would other than all those clothes in the corner but uh i got calendars on the wall and lists of how to things like that so uh, let me give you a little bit of background about who I am. So my name is Ty Miranda. You guys can call me Ty. Um, I have two YouTube channels. Um, I used to be avid, an avid, uh, you could say outdoorsman. Uh, backpack, climb, like to fish. Uh, I still fish and hunt. Um, I uh, <clears throat> I used to run partial marathons and. Uh, the shorter Ironman, Ironman triathlons. Uh, I was in the Air Force. I was on the Air Force cycling team. Um, yeah, I've been overseas. Um, I am medically discharged. Uh, it's an honorable discharge, but unfortunately, it's, it's earlier than I wanted to leave the military. But uh, I was uh, was left with the traumatic uh, uh, stress type syndrome. Uh, it's, just, it's based off of a mild PTSD. Um, I also have uh, arthritis in my back and knees due to my time in service. So, unfortunately, I don't do a lot of that anymore. <laughs> um, but I, I have a huge interest in it. Uh, so, a lot of things that kind of revolve around extreme or near extreme sports, if you will. Um, I, I was a ski instructor, a surf instructor, um, and yeah, that's that's, that's a. a those are those are some big parts about who I am. Um, now I go to college. I'm studying horticulture. Um, I have a, a very close friend here in Nebraska, where I now live, uh, named Daniel, who uh, who is starting a business uh, with me uh, called Omaha Microgreens. I'm going to be uh, going over in later videos with you guys, and you can see on my other channel some of the, the how-tos, like how to build a grow room or a grow tower, those kinds of things. So you guys can um, maybe hop on board and sell my few things, or excuse me. Well, you don't really want the competition. If you, if you do, then, then that's your prerogative. But uh, now, uh, uh, if you guys want to grow microgreens <laughs> for yourself, for your friends, or whatever, then um, yeah happy to show you how to do that. Um, so what is going on in my life? I left the local university because it's a point of contention. Um, it is a, a local hotbed for um, idealized, idealizations that are uh, I think poisoning the youth of America right now. And uh, so I left the university and decided to go to the local uh, community college, which provides a much better education anyway, surprisingly. I mean, it's not, it was surprising to me because I had a uh, cognitive bias um, that universities get better education than 
community colleges, but each community college I've been to so far seems to have given better uh, education for less work um, than the universities. Now, I don't mind doing a lot of work if it's going to lead to a good, a good learning environment. I just didn't feel that at, at the university I was going to locally. For now, I'll just leave that. Um, let's see here. Not very involved in social media or politics. I removed myself from social media. Uh, I mean, I guess this is social media, but anyway, I stopped using uh, Facebook. Uh, but some of my friends contacted me after I said that I was leaving. They said, hey, you know, we really like the videos you did. Because I would talk about politics or education, or the, the education system, um, or I don't know, just whatever came out of my mind. And I'd just go live on Facebook. And, uh, and the people who knew me, at least, really liked that. Um, it's, but apparently they liked it more than the, the amount of views that I saw. <laughs> um, maybe I had some false reporting by Facebook for how many views I actually had. But anyway, they, they seemed to really like it. So I decided to go ahead and, and start a, a vlog, um, but on YouTube and in a little bit different format, which is the format that you're seeing right here. Um, pretty simple you know it's a camera a recorder um, excuse me a camera a microphone uh, and a recording device so you can see my screen um, and I figured that I would I pop some how to's on here as well um, you know how to do things as a vlog how to monetize on YouTube um, so you guys can see how I'm doing the things that I'm doing um, since that is part of my life and hey, I'm showing you my life through a vlog, right? It's such a weird word. Video blog, I guess, is what it stands for. Uh, it's just to me, it's more of a just just a blog. Man, you know, cameras film like opposite of what you're like I'm pointing to the left right now, but it's showing me to pointing to the right. It's just it's so annoying. Like I go, oh, I'm fixing my hair. I go like, <laughs> I go like over here. It just messes it up more. Anyway, the <laughs> uh, right there. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm probably just gonna be really goofy on these videos. Uh, probably gonna talk more than I need to. I'm already at oh, seven and a half minutes for uh, for the full 15 minutes of. Of, uh, of filming that I'm going to do. I, I really don't plan to do any more than 15 minutes uh, per video because I want them to be digestible. Um, so so yeah, I can, I can hop into what I do um, for work, how I am going to be making money in the future. I guess I'm not yet. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, with this this grow room, my friend and I in the basement where we are going to be growing microgreens. So, I'll show you guys that. It's I'm not gonna lie, I don't have these things memorized yet, and the way I wrote these out sounds better than the way that I say it <clears throat> naturally. Uh, the way that I naturally say it. So. Uh, in so this is a generality. Most people report being unable to enjoy fresh, organic, local produce because it's just too expensive. So my buddy Daniel and I developed a system to deliver local, live, like they're alive when you deliver them, leafy vegetables. So now you can eat healthy, delicious greens for half the cost. Um, and we cut out a lot of middlemen and, and we refine the growing system in their climate controlled room so that uh, plants can grow faster and they grow without soil um, through a hydroponic system so uh, so we can actually deliver the plants alive um, and uh, yeah it's, it's just exciting anyway we save a lot of money growing so we can kind of pass those savings on to the customer um, as for restaurants who we're going to sell to first Chefs hate receiving half-dead, overpriced uh, greens that don't last at the walk-in. The walk-in's a big free fridge that you walk into if you don't know about the restaurant business. So we provide locally grown live microgreens for now uh, with no soil, so you can spend half as much money and have zero waste product. Um, there is zero waste product from what we have. We have um, something, I guess you'd call it a waste product. It's, it's, it's not trash though. Uh, everything is either reused or um, composted. So, 
Uh, that's pretty cool. I, I really like that you're starting a business that's green on its own, you know, pretty sustainable on its own. And you know, uh, most microgreens. This is this is this really sums it up here. Most microgreens come packaged from halfway around the world or the other side of the country, right? Um, they're half dead, they're half rotten, um, and they're twice as expensive as they should be. So then when I develop this climate control system to grow live microgreens, we can do this system anywhere. It's portable, um, very, very portable. Like you can pack it up, one person can pack it into a van and, and drive somewhere. Um, our live greens are delivered from local growers within the zip code, so we can keep it within the zip code. And uh, now you, the customer, can enjoy fresh, delicious, organic greens that will continue to stay alive in your fridge for weeks, a couple weeks. And you can purchase a growing system even for yourself from us uh, and never buy greens again. So this is, a, this is my third company, obviously. Sometimes they say, uh, entrepreneurs say, you have to be in business to stay in business. You might sell blue circles at first, but really you don't know this until you approach the market. But you find out that the market actually wants red squares instead of blue circles. So you have to stop selling blue circles and start selling red squares. Or it's the way that you sell it that, that doesn't work so well. I'm at 11 minutes and 30 seconds out of like 15 minutes just to let you guys know where we are. So I was selling uh, coffee in the local area. Um, and I sold a couple bags, and I sold some bags out in California with some friends. Um, it was just really expensive to ship, uh, and I didn't have a brick and mortar store or a lot of money to, to start up, so I actually shut that business down, something I'll go back to, but um, yeah, you, you, have to be, you have to be in business to find out what you should be in business for sometimes. Uh, sometimes demographics lead the way, though. But anyway, uh, yeah, hope that's a short explanation of who I am, uh, a little bit of my background, uh, and <laughs> opposite side again, um, uh, where I'm going with my life right now. So uh, the purpose of these videos is so you guys can watch and see um, see how things work out. I think you're going to find it very interesting. So the next video will be more on this microgreens growing system that we've created. Um, and let's see here, I, I have a presentation that I can show you guys that's on the computer. Um, and I think you'll find it a lot more interesting. It's got facts, and it's got data, and it's got uh, pretty pictures. <laughs> that always helps. So yeah, I look forward to giving you guys that video. In about 13 minutes, I'm going to call it good. Please like subscribe um, don't like if you don't like it but uh, go ahead and post why you don't like it at least um, and have a great day <laughs> my first awkward vlog <laughs> it'll probably get better though